Hi, it's Barbara. Welcome back to Wiki Design. Today I'm going to show you how to add a free shipping coupon in WooCommerce. These are great for email marketing, Facebook ads, stuff like that. They really help get people to your site. Now in order to add a free shipping coupon, we need to do a few things. The first thing that we need to do is make sure that there's an option for free shipping with a coupon. We have to go to our shipping zones in WooCommerce to make sure that's enabled. And that's where I'm at right now. I talked about shipping zones in a previous video, and I'll link that down below so you can get more information from that. But this is assuming that you already have your shipping zone set up. Right now, my shipping zones are a flat rate for the United States and another flat rate for anything outside of the US. I want my coupon to be free shipping for people within the US, so I need to add a different shipping method to this zone. So I'm going to hit edit on here. You can see that my flat rate shipping is the what is enabled right now. So I need to add another shipping method and I'm going to select from the drop down free shipping. Then I'll hit add shipping method. And now you can see I have two shipping methods enabled. I'll hit edit on this and this is where we'll add the option for a coupon. I'm going to click where it says add a free valid shipping coupon. Hit save changes. And now I'm set up to accept a valid free shipping coupon for this shipping zone. If I ever wanted to turn this off, I would just hit disable. So this is great for promotions. If you're running a promotion for a specific amount of time, you can have this set up and just turn it off and on when you need it. I'm just going to hit save changes here. And the next thing that I want to do is go to marketing and then hit coupon so I can add a coupon code. I'm going to hit add coupon here. And I'll label my coupon something memorable. You can always generate your own coupon code here. It will generate some letters and numbers for you, but I like to make them something that's easy for me to remember, especially for marketing purposes. It's just easier for me to keep track of things. So I'm going to call my coupon August because we're in the month of August. You can also add a description if you want to keep things a little bit more organized. It's totally optional. Under coupon data, we have a few different tabs. For general, we have our discount type. We don't actually have to change this for free shipping because we're not giving an additional discount on any products or the cart. We also don't have to change this because again, we're not giving any additional discounts for free shipping. But if you did want to add an additional discount, you would fix that in here. What we need to check is allow free shipping. When this is checked, it will take the shipping costs off. And you can see right here, it says a free shipping method must be enabled in your shipping zone and be set to require a valid free shipping coupon. So we already did that in the previous step. For an expiration date, you can add that here. I'm going to put just the end of the month. Again, this is great for promotional purposes. You can run free shipping promotions for a certain amount of time. And this is how you do that. Under usage restrictions, we can set up some different variables as well. We can have a minimum spend. We can also have a maximum spend. We can set it up so it's individual use only, so people can't use the coupon in conjunction with other coupons that might be on the site. We can also say that we want it to exclude anything that's on sale. We also have the option to make the coupon only available for certain products, so we can exclude products or include products in here. We can also do it for product categories as well. And lastly, we can allow this coupon only for specific users. So if we have a lot of users on the site and we want to offer a free shipping coupon to a specific group, we can put those people in here. So there are a lot of different options available as far as usage. Under usage limits, we can limit the usage of a coupon to a certain amount. So let's say that we wanted free shipping to be for the first 50 people that used it. We would put that number here. We can also limit it per user. So we can say that you can only use this coupon once on the website. You can't use it any more than that. So that's where you would put that number. So once you have this all filled out, you can go ahead and hit publish. Now let's go to the front end and see the coupon code in action. I've added a t-shirt to my cart and you can see the subtotal is $15 and my flat rate shipping is $30. When I apply my coupon code here, it should change to free shipping.
And you can see now that I have the option for free shipping, my total is now $15. So that's how you add free shipping coupons to WooCommerce stores. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the channel because I plan on making several more WooCommerce videos in the future. See you next time.